Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Eclipse IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So Eclipse IDE is one of the most famous IDEs for developing Java programs, but it also have the support for different programming languages, for example, C and C++, PHP, JavaScript and other languages. So let's see how we can download and install uh, Eclipse IDE. So because Eclipse is a Java based IDE, you need to have Java installed on your Windows 11 operating system. But nowadays Eclipse IDE comes bundled with Java JRE. So if you don't have Java, it's okay because Eclipse IDE will come with the bundled JRE. So if you have already installed Java, that is okay. But if you don't have a Java JDK installed, then also it's okay. So first of all, just open your favorite browser and search for Eclipse IDE. And the first link which will appear here will be from eclipse.org forward slash IDE. So I'm going to click on this uh, link. And once you are inside this eclipse.org website, you will be able to see this kind of web page here, right? So you can see uh, what Eclipse IDE can do. And on the top, I can see this download button here. So I'm going to click on the download button. And when I click on the download button, I will be redirected to the downloads page here. And here I can see get Eclipse IDE uh, download button. On the top, it also says Eclipse installer now includes the JRE for Mac OS, Windows and Linux. So just click on the download button here and then it's going to redirect you to uh, this uh, web page where you can click on the download button which is going to start the download of this Eclipse IDE. So I'm going to wait for the download to complete. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this uh, executable file and let me minimize my browser and now I can see that this installer is starting and now you can see this Eclipse installer has been started so let me just uh, maximize it so you can uh, see this so when Eclipse installer starts you need to select for which purpose you want to uh, use Eclipse IDE so the most famous and popular is Eclipse IDE for Java developers but if you want to use Eclipse IDE for C++ or PHP or uh, for other uh, programming languages, you can choose uh, that from this list, right? I'm going to install Eclipse IDE for Java. So I'm going to choose the first option, which is Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And when you click on this, you will be able to see uh, this window. Now, when you come to the next window, you will see uh, this section here. So because I have already installed Java JDK on my Windows 11 operating system, Eclipse is going to recognize that and it's going to show you the path to the JDK folder. If it's not present, it's going to show you all these links here. So you can choose the top link from this list. So I'm going to choose uh, the JDK folder, which I already have installed. If you don't know how to install Java JDK on your Windows 11 operating system, I have already created a video on that. So I'm going to put the link in the description so you can follow that video. This is the installation folder for Eclipse. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and then click on install. And first of all, you will see uh, this license terms and agreement page. So if you want, you can read this page and then click on accept now which is going to start the installation of Eclipse IDE. So at this point, you just need to wait for some time until Eclipse downloads all the packages and install them on your Windows 11 operating system. And when Eclipse IDE is successfully installed on your Windows 11 operating system, you will be able to see uh, this launch button here. Also, you will be able to see that Eclipse installer has created this desktop shortcut for us. So from the next time you can uh, click on this uh, desktop shortcut in order to launch your Eclipse IDE. So let me click on the launch button, which is going to launch Eclipse on my Windows 11 operating system. And for the first time, when you start Eclipse IDE, it's going to ask you to provide the workspace folder. So this will be the folder where all your Eclipse project will be saved. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default. You can also check this checkbox, which says use this as the default and do not ask again, and then click on launch. 
which is going to launch the Eclipse IDE. And once Eclipse IDE is launched, it's going to look like this, right? So you have the tutorials and overview and samples here. You can click on create a new project, which is going to help you to create a new project. And uh, if you want to uh, just minimize this uh, welcome window, you can click on the minimize uh, button here, which is going to minimize this welcome window. And it's going to show you the Eclipse IDE overview, right? Also, I can see the donate tab here. I can close this and now it looks like this, right? So in order to create a new project, you can either click on create a new Java project or create a new project option, or you can click on the file and then click on new option and then select from here. So I'm going to select Java project from here. And first of all, you need to provide the name to your Java project. So I'm going to uh, name my project as uh, hello for now and you can see this will be the default location where your project will be saved so in the next section you can select the jre for your project right so by default eclipse is going to suggest you to use the execution environment jre which is this one if you already have installed java jdk separately on your windows 11 operating system you can also choose this option which says use the project specific jre and from here you can select the jdk version for your project so i'm going to choose that so if you don't see any jdk version here you can uh, just leave it as default otherwise you can select the jdk version from here and under project layout i'm going to leave it as default and then click on next button so on the next window, you will see this kind of interface. I will leave everything as default because this is just a sample project. And then I'm going to click on the finish button. And here it's going to ask me to provide the module name. I will leave it as default and then click on generate comments also and then click on create button, which is going to create this project for me. So now you can see this project is created. And from here, I'm going to just uh, remove this uh, Java file because I want to create my own uh, Java uh, class. So under source, I'm going to right click once again and then click on new. And then I'm going to choose this option which says class. And then I can uh, name my class. So let's uh, name our class as hello once again. And then the modifier will be public. So just leave it as a default. And here, which method stubs would you like to create? I'm going to select this option, which says public static void main. So it's going to create the public static void main method, which is the main method for Java for us. And then click on finish. And you can see this class is created and this public static void main method is created right now if you uh, want to change the font size because this font size is really small and uh, i think you might not be able to see uh, the code which i am uh, writing so for changing the font and other settings you can click on window and then click on preferences and then click on general and then select appearance and you can uh, expand this and then click on uh, color and fonts and from here you can choose java and then click on java editor text font right and then click on edit which is going to allow you to change the font and the font size so let me make it a little bit bigger uh, let me choose 18 or 16 from here and then click on ok and then click on apply and then click on apply and close you can see the font size has been increased and then uh, I can uh, just uh, write a very simple code for printing hello world. So from here I can just type uh, system dot out dot print ln. So this is the method which you use to print uh, some text and inside the double quotes I can just write uh, hello world here. And once you are done, you can save this file by clicking control S. And then if you want to run this project, you have uh, these buttons here. So there is this debug hello.java file. There is this run hello.java file. You also have uh, other uh, tools 
for example, run last tool. So from here, I'm going to press this button, which says run hello.java file. And it's going to run your code. So first of all, it's going to compile your code and then it's going to run your code here. So you can see hello world is printed. That means Eclipse IDE is working fine on your Windows 11 operating system. And then you can start using Eclipse IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. So that is how you can download and install Eclipse IDE on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.